and welcome to Pumpkin's Nail Station. Um, well, should I say good evening? Um, because it's around 9 pm ish or something like that. 8 o'clock, something like that. And I'm taking this off because I want to do a, a manicure for um, the Honeybee Nail Art Lab. I want to do a negative space manicure. It'll be something like this. So you'll have to wait to see how I do it. That was just a little practice tell that I did to see if I could do it and if it did work. And we're going to remove this gel um, with the iMaily um, prep pads that I was sent to review. I was sent a ton more, so I'm going to start using them. So I'm just going to break them up into halves. So we've got three, six, nine, we just need one more, so that's ten. So on the back it just says quality and effective remove of UV gel polish gently without damaging, damaging the hands. Does not dry out the surface of, surface of your skin. Great for travel and it says impregnated with a 100% acetone. So I assume that means soaked with a 100% acetone. Um, it's got like a thing here what you peel off and it releases like a sticky tab so we'll just do that so we'll, I'll do five of them I'll, sh I'll do one hand so you just remove all five of those it's best to do this now rather than um, later and you peel it from the top so it's best to come from this end from the top part there pull it back two three because uh, if you try and do it underneath, which is what you will try and do when you've got it on, it won't do it. So, underneath, pull it off. Three, four, and five. So on the top, pull it off. So we've got all that ready. I'm just going to dispose of all of these. Because we don't want them. I'm just going to get them rid of my bin really like static um, but before we do that so we'll just pop those there because they're ready to go just got to cut the tops but we'll cut them when we're ready to do it we've got to buff the surface of the nail off so we'll do that with a buffing block If you want to see the manicure that I've done, um, it was for Mia's birthday, I'll link it at the top right. Um, I put the decals on after, so it's basically just the polish and the glitter part in the manicure. But I'll be doing, um, posting a separate video for that shortly. Okay, right, so we're almost there, so I'm just going to go around the top parts with this file. Just to make sure, and down there. Because you really want to break the surface of all of this because it will make everything easier. So you just go in there like that, down the sides, and then just down there if you've capped it. I'm just going to do the rest of this off camera and then I'll come back when we're ready to do the next part. Okay, so we're back. Um, so I've done that. You, you can do it with these. Or you can do that exact same thing just with a fine sanding band going in the same direction that the e-file would go. Don't go against it, just go in the same direction and you can go down the sides like that and just stop there. So you can do the exact same thing with that for speed if you want with a really fine um, sanding band. And um, When my actual um, dust collector gets here I'll show you um how i do that but for this purpose i've just used this so we're ready to go so we've buffed all the shiny layer off basically just the first layer of the top coat and now we're going to cut one of these open i'm going to go against the tape rain it doesn't really matter We just cut all five of these open. It's best to do this just before you use it as well. Um, 
because if you do it beforehand it might dry the uh, prep pads out. So that's four. And we've got the final one. That's five. So do this as well just before you stick it on your fingers because it again it'll make your life so much easier. So just lay them out in a line down the side and just check them all, check that they're all none of them have dried out because sometimes that has happened to me and I've only found out like mid doing it sometimes it can happen it doesn't happen often but I have had it happen to me a few times so just sort of like that one there look has dried out so that is no good for us We'll just get another. It does happen, it can happen with any brand just because it's in paper and there may be a tiny rip or something in one of them. There we go, perfect. So, what we're going to do is we're going to stick the paper right there so it's, so it's that way, away from the so it's facing the front basically and we're going to stick our thumb or finger in there like that this is how I do it you don't have to copy me I fold it like a little way like this way like that come on stuck to my finger and then I bring this part back a bit like that and then I fold in this way like that and then you can bring that part in like that and then up so I'll just repeat that again so the prep pad facing that way put your finger in make sure it's nice and flat on there fold it across a bit like that bring that paper back just that little flat part bring this part over nice and tight and then you can bring that part over and then fold it up this is just a way that I find works for me you might find a way that works for you and um, I'm just showing you the, the way that I think works best for me or just got to make sure it's nice and tight so there isn't much air like getting into there sort of thing so you may need to just tighten them up a little bit if you need to just bring them in tuck them in a little bit more if you need to you know what I mean like that just tuck it in and it's nice and tight So it's nice and snug. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to leave these for about 10 minutes and then we'll come back and we'll see what they look like. Okay, so it's been about five minutes ish. So I'm just going to check one of them and we'll see how it's going. So at this stage I'll probably just scrape all that top bit off, you know, so that it's not trying, it's got more of a um, surface to work on with the gel polish. This is just a gel polish removal tool from Born Pretty Store. So I'll probably do that off camera then give this part a little buff on them all and then go back in again for you know about five ten minutes or something go back in for another five minutes and we'll see 
Okay, right, so we're back. So let's have a look at them after another five to ten minutes. I mean, I did have three layers of base coat and a couple of top coats, so it's not, it's not bad. It was actually another five minutes, not ten minutes. So it's been ten minutes so far, all together. So that nail's almost off. So I'm just going to pop it back in there for a little bit longer. It's nearly off. I mean, I don't force stuff off. I just put it back in. Um, that's that's all I do. I just pop it back in. I don't force it off. So I'm just going to give um, these ones just a few more minutes and then I'll come back. Okay, so all the polish is removed and just basically the last thing you would do is just file them into shape. Um, I'll just go and give them a wash and then I'll come back and we'll add some cute oil and we are done. Okay, so I've washed them and now we're just going to add a little, this is how I would do it, I would add some hand cream, it's got vitamin E in it, this has got vitamin E and jojoba oil in it, I would pop some of that all over my nails and all over my skin, because it's had acetone all over it, so I'd do that, and I would really massage this in to the nail plate. I'll do that, really give it a good rub in, probably put a little bit too much on there, I'll give that a good rub in, a good massage into the nails, because they've had acetone on them and all sorts, and then I would get this, twist it, Ooh, seems a sticky, twist that, pop a drop on each nail and then sorry my battery pack died a bit there so you saw I would add this hand cream that's got it's Nivea face and body but it's got Jehovah oil and vitamin E vitamin E is the most important and the oil is nice because it will rehydrate the nail plate and bed and then what we would do then is add some cuticle oil so we twist this get a bit of the oil out and then I'll just pop that all around there and go all around the cuticle and underneath I like to rehydrate the whole thing including under the nails and then I'll just paint over the nail plate and I would just leave that to soak in to my nails for about 10 or 15 minutes I'll just massage it in a little so I would just leave that just to soak in to the nail plate and then when it's nice and soaked in that's it I'll just leave that I won't touch my nails till tonight till tomorrow or maybe the day after but yeah there's no damage to the nail plate and yeah it removed them in about 15 minutes ish something like that and that was th a base coat three coats of polish um a layer of the bomb the she modern glue gel um a water decal and two layers of top coat on some of the nails and it did it in about 15 minutes so yeah so i've just got to do the other one now so that's everything
So again, these get a thumbs up. I love them. Um, they don't dry out my skin around here um, like it does sometimes when I soak it in a bowl. So when I do gel polish, I just like to just use these. I would only soak my hands um, for poly gel. Um, other than that, I'll use these. I'll use these for regular polish. I'll use them for glitter polishes, um, glitter gels, regular gels, anything like that. I would use these. Um, I don't use cotton wool and I would only soak my hands for poly gel. So, yeah. So that's everything. So, thanks for watching. Bye.